This will be an example video on the topic, Rewriting a Quadratic Function to Find Its Vertex and Sketch Its Graph. Let's take a look at the example problem we're going to be working through. We are given f of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 13. We are asked to write our quadratic function in the following form. f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. In this form, our vertex will be found at the point h, k. In order to rewrite f of x, we must begin by completing the square. We can start by factoring out a 2 from our first two terms. The result is f of x equals 2 times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 13. Now we complete the square of the parenthetical expression x squared minus 4x. Since we have x squared minus 4x, we must add the quantity negative 4 over 2 squared inside the parentheses. The quantity negative 4 over 2 squared equals 4, so the result is f of x equals 2 times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 13. It is also important to note that the expression inside the parentheses is being multiplied by 2. So when we complete the square, we are adding 2 times 4, which equals 8, to the right side of the equation. To balance this, we must also add a negative 8 to the right side of the equation. 13 minus 8 equals 5. Finally, we factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. The result is f of x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 5. Comparing this to the form f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, we find that our vertex is 2, 5. Now that we have our function f of x and our vertex, we can begin sketching the graph. Our first step will be creating a chart to find the coordinates of the points on our graph. The first point in our graph will be our vertex with the coordinates 2, 5. To find some other points in our graph, we can choose x values, some greater than 2 and some less than 2, and plot those in our graph. The x values 1 and 0 are less than 2, and the x values 3 and 4 are greater than 2. To find the y values, we substitute each x value into the function and calculate an answer. Now that we have found all of our points, let's graph our parabola. After plotting each of the points and connecting the points with a curve, we have graphed our parabola. We have now rewritten our quadratic function in vertex form. We have found the vertex and we have sketched the graph.